Looking at my history's a little contradictory Cause all this time I wanted love but falling <laughs> Hey guys, Glory here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit more promotion for Built Bars because Built Bars is currently my favorite protein bar brand and I've been talking about this for such a long time because the taste, the texture. Today I wanted to tell you guys how Built Bar has actually improved their texture and their taste even more and I don't know how it can actually get even better than how it was before because the before was just so amazing. I actually tried the ones before and the ones that are like newly improved and the texture is just so much softer and the taste also is so much better because they have six new flavors you guys can like choose to um build your little like boxes and you can like choose your flavors and stuff and you guys already know like i always like to have protein bars that is stacked in my closet just so um i could have it good to go when i'm like on the run and i'm just like running out of time i need something quick and easy to pack but also are like good nutrition profile. These protein bars are seriously so amazing. They taste great, the nutrition profile is great, they are gluten-free, they are high protein, they are low calorie, they are low sugar. It's just such an amazing nutrition profile, but they taste like chocolate bars, which can't get any better. If you guys are willing to try them, definitely check them. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you guys can go check it out. I also have a 10% discount code so you guys can get your money off. I always love discount code especially when it's a good product and you get to also like save some money it's just everything so i'm gonna leave everything in the description box so definitely go check it out and i will see you guys in my next clip hey guys it's gloria welcome back to my channel so today i've got a back thigh workout for you guys so let's get right into it our first exercise is single leg deadlift. You're gonna have one leg behind your other leg to resist you, and you're gonna slide up your fingers from your knees to the middle of your calves. Make sure your upper body is tilted towards the front so that we can create those beautiful lines in the hamstrings, the back thighs, and we're using the booty muscles to sustain our upper body. And now we're moving on to the other leg. You wanna make sure you're breathing and keeping your core tight while doing this move. Our next exercise is narrow deadlift. For this, you're going to keep your feet a fist distance apart and you're going to do the same, slide up your fingers from your knees to the middle of your calves. Make sure your upper body is tilted towards the front and keep your core tight. Our next exercise is back thigh wall lunges. For this move, you're going to find a wall, get onto a wall and do your back thigh lunges. And you want to have your distance away from the wall around two to three steps while making sure all the weight is in your front thighs, not the resisting legs that goes behind.
Our next exercise is straight leg kicks. You're just going to kick your legs straight. For this move, you're actually going to move even further away from the wall, so you should be around three, three and a half steps away from the wall. For our next move, you're going to switch to the other side. Remember, it's not about how high you can kick your legs, it's really about engaging your booty and your back thighs while maintaining your core tight. move is leg folds. You're going to get even closer to the wall, so one or maybe a half step away from the wall, and you're just going to fold your knees. And make sure when you do this, you're keeping your core tight, and you don't want to go too high. You just want to have it high enough to engage your hamstrings. Now we're switching it to the other side. Now if you want to make this more challenging, you can bring a set of resistance bands and you can just put it right under your foot and lift them up the same way. Our next exercise is donkey kick pulses. For this, you're going to get on the floor and do your donkey kick pulses, making sure that your foot is flexed. Switch to the other side, and if your wrist is starting to hurt, you can get on your elbows or you can get on your fists.
next is straight leg kick circles. You're going to do small little circles for 20 seconds for clockwise and for the other 20 seconds counterclockwise. Rotate it clockwise. Make sure when you're doing these moves, your upper body is holding still. Rotate it clockwise. And you're complete. Make sure to follow this routine with my stretching video for best results.